Hello YouTubers, and today I'm going to be going through all the differences in the Marshmallow update for the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Now, uh, the model that I have is the SM-N910F, which has just been updated. So, uh, this model uh, was actually the last, I think, to get um, the update. So anyway, let's go through it. So first of all, most of this update is basically just an overall design change so as you can see we've got the rounded icons which were first introduced in the S6 so all them rounded icons are here but actually if say we open up the music app the music app is actually identical to the previous one so there's nothing different there the same with the gallery app and also the fact I'll explore right. They're all exactly the same as before, just a rounded icon on it. That goes uh, for the camera as well. The camera app is exactly the same. Nothing at all has changed with it. Um, I have found, though, focusing does seem to be slightly faster, though. So whether that is something to do with the software, where, or it's just much more optimised now for it, then all good news for that. It does seem to be a little bit more zippier than it was before and also we get the new marshmallow features so what are they? Well if we're going to the settings and going to applications just wait for this to load uh, we now have the feature to actually completely move an app to the SD card so what you do is go into settings, application and manager and then select the app that you want now you're going to have to click on storage and then it'll show where it is currently stored and you can click on change and you can change it from internal storage to the micro SD card however uh, what you still cannot do is change the default storage location so unfortunately we're still stuck with having two different storage locations now for me I actually quite like this uh, mainly because uh, I get to store more things than that and it's easy to swap files but if you uh, rely on that on a different device then there you go. Clicking on uh, folders and that they now open on a full page rather than before. It's not really much of a difference thing also uh, we do have some different colours to change uh, this time round. And we also have a Google's Tap On Now feature, which currently isn't any displaying anything because I'm not on a web page or anything. But if you don't like uh, this feature, or if you have no use of it, and you just want to get straight to Google Now, then if you click on the settings icon and go into settings, you can turn this off. Sorry about that dog outside barking. So now if you hold down the home button, it'll take you straight to Google Now. Again, uh, a feature that hasn't been ported is to have the option of a 5x5 grid. So, unfortunately, we've only got the 4x4 grid, which means that there is a lot of gap between the apps still, which is very frustrating and very annoying. Um, something that has changed is ooh, uh, the S Pen software. So, now when you remove the S Pen, you get the new air command from the Note 5 and you can add your own apps and that. So you can see here you can have it as a permanent floating icon where the icon um, will just float over the top of everything. So now if I click it will move over the top of everything. You can't actually click on it with your finger. You have to use the S Pen. I would normally show this kind of stuff uh, in a screen recorder but since this is to do with the S Pen I'm filming it also but that can be turned off as well uh, shortcuts you can customize all of the shortcuts there is no limits to what you can have but uh, you can only have up to one two three four five six shortcuts currently 
Uh, another new feature which was ported from the Note 5 is when you t take out the S Pen and the screen is off you're able to do the memo where you can write on the screen like this and then when you put the S Pen back in it saves it and uh, you will actually get a notification where you can see your memo so this is a really nice feature however it isn't turned on by default so to turn this on go into settings device S Pen and you'll need to tick the box that says screen off memo okay and that will allow you to do the screen off mode so that mode is not on by default unfortunately other differences are slightly minor again it's got speed uh, boost but all the apps inside seem to be exactly the same and all these apps have been updated to the latest version and uh, we obviously get the marshmallow uh, minigame so if we just play this I'm never going to do it because I'm looking for a camera uh, the only thing I said, I wish they would change this because uh, they've they had it for lollipop and now they've kept it for marshmallow so I hope with uh, Android N whatever it's going to be called then they do that another thing that they didn't change is you still cannot disable the quick access and uh, the S Finder like you can on the S6 and 7 you cannot disable them they are permanently there and they cannot uh, be disabled a feature that I like which uh, a lot of people may overlook is the fact that now you no longer have to have auto brightness on to get the uh, brighter ambient display when you go outside so what this is basically um, you can see at the moment I've got manual brightness so if I turn it all the way up now before if I was outside and I needed the screen to be uh, brighter so in direct sunlight I would have to click on the auto brightness as you can see, as you can see uh, when I actually do click on auto brightness the screen dims slightly so that's why I always left all brightness off but now you can have manual brightness on and when you do go outside the screen as you can see it will automatically get brighter and after a couple of seconds of being in normal light it will dim but this is like a really nice feature just to have so you can see it didn't brighten up and dim back down so that's really nice to have uh, unfortunately, another, one more feature that still hasn't been ported is app shortcuts. You can still only enable the camera shortcuts. Why Samsung? Why? But overall, this is a nice update. Uh, it feels a lot better than when it got uh, the lollipop update and everything seems to be sluggish. Everything now seems to be a lot zippier, a lot faster than before. So overall, uh, yeah, when you do get this update, update, um, now I received this as an OTA update over the air update if uh, you don't know what that means so yeah so it's uh, Android 6.0.1 thank you for watching uh, any questions put them in the description below I'll see you next time bye bye